Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're going to be doing this really beautiful, sultry, smoky eye look. Of course with some traditional Indian wear. Got my beautiful jewellery, I'll link everything in the info box. And shout out to my mum for helping me wear the sari. Like I cannot put sari to serve my life and she's like amazing at it. So my grandma taught her and then now she just knows how to do it perfectly. Like this, I was just going to drape this over my shoulder and just wear it like that. But she was like, no. I used to do it properly and she pleated it and yeah just shout out to my mom she's amazing at putting saris on i'm just going to show you guys how to get this look just a casual fun makeup video because i haven't done that many in a while and i really wanted to do this maybe this can help someone one day when lockdown is over <laughs> or you can just stroll around the house like this just feel fabulous so yeah i'm just gonna jump onto the video but before i go please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already when you do engage in my videos it actually helps the video reach new people so we can really grow our family when you do engage in my videos such as liking the video and commenting um it really helps the video reach others on youtube new people so your engagement really does help me out and it's just going to grow our family even bigger and i really want to focus on my youtube channel this year so yeah, please like the video guys. And also I really have an exciting project that will hopefully be coming out really soon and I cannot wait to announce it to you guys. I know it's really annoying when people do that but I'm working on something. Hopefully this all works out. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump onto the tutorial. Okay, I've already done my brows off camera. Ignore the hair, I did my best. It's not cooperating today. I did these two like cute curly bits here which I'll take out after. Like I just feel like it brings the look together but we'll take that one out afterwards. I'm just gonna put some Tarte Shape Tape on my lids. I can't lie, whenever I put a sari on, and I rarely do to be honest, I feel really fabulous afterwards. But we need to get rid of these bags because, I don't know, I haven't been sleeping that well lately. Actually I have, but I sleep and then I still feel tired. I just don't understand. So for my eyes, I, I'm tempted to go with orange, but I just feel like my whole sari and outfit's orange and it would just be too much orange if I went with orange eyeshadow. So I wanted to go with like a neutral matte kind of glam eye. I'm using this um, Thrive Cosmetics Perfect Eye Palette and this is the Warm Neutrals. But like it's full of like pretty neutral shades and I just feel like it reminds me of the Melt Cosmetics um, pans that everyone was obsessed with. It's got some nice shades, the universal shades that you can wear for whatever. I'm just going to take this shade first. Gosh, that is pigmented. I love a good eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is the first time I'm using this, but Thrive Cosmetics is a brand that I actually have worked with before, but I didn't need to share on socials, but they've got some good products, like really good products very high quality and there's good color like i really like their blush i think i'm gonna go for a soft smoky eye i'm just really tempted right now so then i'm gonna take the next dark brown shade right here this all over the lid oh, this brush is nice this is the lily england 110 they actually have really nice um brushes and they've got like a cute marble effect on them Okay, then next I'm going to take the really dark brown shade and we're just going to focus this on the lash line. And that is actually pretty dark. I'm just going to really blend it out. I'm just making sure to go back and forth on the edges so it's nicely blown out. Okay, I'm just going to do the other eye. I really like that first um, transition shade that we used. I'm going to use some of this Colourpop Mulan Gold Lip Mask. And I'm just going to put a little bit. It feels really nice. This is another example. Like, this is a lip mask. And it's got glitter in it. Like, glitter specs. So it's quite similar to the Huda Beauty one. But this feels really... This feels more hydrating, for sure. I've got this humongous mountain zit on my forehead it's huge just before i go in with my foundation i'm going to use this for santi vo5 um color corrector then i'm going to use the benefit header happy air stick foundation in the shade seven 
I feel like seven is like the perfect match. I'm just gonna blend this with my brush. This is the first time I'm trying this foundation and it seems to be blending pretty well. I would say the coverage is like medium, so I'm just going to put a little bit more. The formula is quite hydrating, like it's not drying my skin out, there's a glow to it and I'm really happy with the shade. I'm actually quite surprised by this foundation. Like I've tested out Benefit base products before and it, like my experience has been okay-ish like I just feel like they could do with definitely more shades this formula is really nice and the shade actually matches me so now for concealer I'm gonna go in with the XX Revolution concealer in CX 11.2 I was actually really really surprised by this concealer Then for powder, I'm going to use my Vichy Derma Blend Setting Powder. I'm just going to set my face where it's a little bit more shiny because this foundation is actually definitely more on the dewy side. I'm not mad at it. Then for bronzer, I'm going to use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I just feel like when I bronze my forehead, it just completes my look. Just a little bit on the neck here. Then for blush, I'm going to use this Il Maquillage Toxic Mineral Baked Blush. This is so pigmented and you only need a little bit. I've used it a couple of times. I just feel like Il Maquillage has definitely some really nice products. I was going to work with them, but unfortunately it didn't work out because... I wasn't too pleased with the foundation and concealer, it was not sitting on my skin well at all. So I did have to step back from the project but um, some of the other products I really did like so I just wanted to use them in this video. So this blush is so beautiful. Then for highlights I'm going to use my Revlon Highlight in Daybreak Glimmer. I actually really like how my skin looks right now. I'm just going to use some of my Laguna bronzer just to kind of bronze up my nose on the sides just slightly. I just feel like I can't do my makeup without doing this now. Like, it's not like a major nose contour, but it just frames the nose a little bit. Okay, I'm really happy with that. It's starting to come together. Oh, I like these. I should do these more. Now, just back onto the eyes. I'm going to use this NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. I think this is in the shade Last Frontier. All in my waterline. Just to add some intensity. Oh my god, that is so intense. Look at what that did. I'm really tempted to put my contacts in. Guys, I feel like a whole new person with my nails. I can't believe I did these myself. There's no way I'm going to a nail salon anytime soon until a vaccine is found. To me, this is not resolved. And I don't know how people are going back out as if everything's back to normal. But I understand how it's. it might not be easy to some because they're on their own. Like some people are by themselves and for months whilst I'm with my whole family. So it's a bit easier for me to say like I don't need to go out but the virus is still out there maybe the NHS will be able to take the the patients in a bit easier I don't know I just feel like numbers will spike again because there's so many people out have you seen the beaches in south of England like what I'm shocked it's like there's nothing going on okay I love my base okay I'm just gonna curl my lashes I'm just going to use some of my Stila Magnum Mascara because it is bum. Why don't I do smoky eyes more often? I actually really like this. It's not too dark. I just feel like before when I did smoky eyes, I'd just go too dark and I didn't really feel myself. It's so wearable, so sultry. Really packing that mascara on my lower lashes. So I was going to wear lashes. I don't feel like I want to now. 
I love my lashes. And this mascara just makes them look insane. When you wear falsies, it just creates this clean, fluttery eye look. And it is longer than my lashes, so it does add something, but... I just feel like with this look, I'm happy with the way this is looking right now. I'm actually so shocked by the foundation because it's my first time trying it and it's sitting so beautifully. The lip liner I'm going to use is the Il Maquillage Waterproof Lip Liner in Coffee. My lips are so soft after this Colourpop lip mask. This shade's actually really pretty on its own. It's not dark enough to line my lips, I would say, but it's really pretty on its own. And then I'm going to go in a little bit with the Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream by Il Maquillage. And this is, this is in the shade Matte Karma. I just need to put my ticker. I love how, like, effortless the eyes are. I just feel like I'm missing something on the eyes. I'm going to take some of this shade right here from the palette and I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. I forgot to do this before putting my mascara on. God, I love this look! By the way guys, I've been so obsessed with The Last Kingdom. I'm on season 4 and I've got to look for something else to watch. Just for a little highlight, I'm going to use the pearless shade in the palette right here. And I'm just going to pack this on the inner corner just for like a bit of brightness there. Putting a ticker is the hardest thing for me when I have nails. So I'm just going to tie it like this a little bit lower. Alright guys, this is the final look. I love this so much. The hair is actually working right now. It's working. This is like three day old hair. So I'm trying to make it work. Gosh, I'm really happy with the foundation. The foundation is so, so pretty. The sari is gorgeous. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I think it was long overdue to do this. I wish I could have done it before Eid, but with timing and everything, it was not possible because I do have a full-time job on the side. But I'm really glad I did it. This is definitely different to what I've done before. The sari is beautiful. And yeah, I love this look. It's so different to what I usually do, but I'm so pleased with the base. The blush is so beautiful. I definitely recommend it to you guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe if you want more videos like this. Give this video a like and I will see you in my next video.